Hey guys, it's Greg. Uh, what I want to do with this video is take a look at head sculpting, and uh, we'll be doing it from scratch this time. So what I'm using right here is a uh, Sculpey, and it's an oven baked clay, and I'm sculpting over a wire armature. Now I usually don't do heads from scratch, but I thought this would be good for a tutorial or a walkthrough. So what I'm doing right now is just adding the clay on and uh, shaping it with my tools to get a rough head shape and just kind of laying down some some structure of the skull and a little bit of the musculature and facial features to keep everything as uh, symmetrical as I can so not really going into details too much and I'm using um, some wax detailing tools and some ball stylus tools for this and what I did uh, when I laid down the facial features was actually uh, take them off since this is um, since this won't harden by itself, I actually baked it, keeping just those eye sockets and some of the bone structure. That way I could come back when that's all uh, solidified and just keep adding on to get those, uh, those finer details and facial features. So here I'm adding more Sculpey on. And what's cool about this is you can, uh, you can work in a layer and then you can bake it. And that layer will be good to go and then you can keep adding on and baking as you go. So that, that's really helpful when you're sculpting like this. So right here I'm just putting some eyeballs in just to get the shape of the eye sockets. They aren't final. Just looking at the brow line, trying to find uh, trying to find the shape of the lips. Again, just really just really sketching and trying to get the face as symmetrical as I can. Now I usually use Abe's uh, epoxy or fix it sculpt and you might have seen those in some other videos and that is a, a material that will dry in about two or three hours so that I don't want to say I'm in a hurry when I use that stuff or in a rush but that that defines like my working time and style uh, so something like this where I can you know work on it and it's not gonna harden and come back to it like this sculpy material is, is kind of uh, a positive and a negative in some ways because that way I don't have to commit to anything and I could just say, you know, put it down and I'll come back to it. But, you know, that does help for um, refining and constantly going back and forth, trying new things like that ear right there. I was like, well, let's see how that looks. Didn't like that. Maybe I don't like the shape of the lips. Take them off. Try again. Look at different reference material. And, you know, we're, we're filming this, so I don't want everything to be predicated on how much time I have to make this certain thing. And we can also see, you know, what looks better on camera. If that was a bad angle, if it was blurry, well, it's dry, it's too late. No, with this, we can we can put it down. I can come back to it and try different things. So it has its advantages. Um, I'm just not used to uh, having this much freedom. So it's kind of like, what do I do with it? You know, how far should I keep going until I say it's done? So right here, I'm getting satisfied with where this layer is at. So what I'm going to do is just work up the details as much as I feel are necessary and then put it back in the oven and again saving those eyes for last and then just you know doing some test fitting of material and seeing how it fits in there. Alright so the head's been baked and I went ahead and filled in one of the eye sockets just to do a little test uh, seeing what works you know again using this Sculpey if I don't like it I can just scoop it back out. Uh, but if I do like it, then I can match the other side as close as possible. And what I'll do for eyes is uh, if there's like a, a solid eye socket, either I drill it or, you know, with this you saw me sculpting it, then I'll roll out like two little balls of maybe clay or that fix-it material which dries uh, rock hard. I glue those in the eye sockets and then sculpt all the flesh around it, and I think that gives you a really good eye. Now for me, the eyes are probably the most crucial part of the head sculpt and the most difficult to get, especially at this scale. Very hard to measure them. I just have to use what I know about proportions and try and make them look, you know, like a human being. And if I'm referencing something, trying to make it look like that person's eyes. Um, just so they're not crooked because I could throw the whole thing off. So in the background, you'll see I have a large like head cast and I like to work off like a 3D reference that way I can see it from all angles and see like okay well here the, here's how the eyes work um, try and replicate that and usually for a custom head I'll I'll pick a head with really well defined eye detail like around like eyelids or something and I'll dremel the whole head down except for that little part with the eyes and then sculpt around that 
just so I don't have to deal with eyes. But for this tutorial, I just wanted to show you know from scratch, and then just go about it this way. Alright guys, next time we'll be back with a painting tutorial, painting the head sculpt. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back with more custom reviews and making of videos.